Pratt here, and I'm introducing a new series called Bow and Arrows that's a program that I created for personal and professional growth uh, using the Artemis kind of Greek mythology metaphor of the hunter, the bow, and the arrow. I'm working on a book right now called One Bow, Many Arrows, and I'll also be starting a podcast soon. But for the sake of the YouTube channel, I wanted to do these quick little videos that introduce the concepts on ways that you could really um, start using the uh, Bow and Arrows program in your life. And it all begins with the hunter. Um, the hunter is you. And it's really about personal responsibility and accountability um, for our lives. If you're an entrepreneur, obviously it's important to know that your company's success really is in your hands. You know, that we are not going to have the victim mentality, um, that we're going to take charge, take ownership, and really lead our company um, into doing great things uh, with passion and purpose. And so as we go through this whole process, um, it's important to understand our hero fireside story. Not really, you know, the hero of the story is you as the hunter. So um, I created six traits that I think are really important. I've worked with, you know, hundreds of businesses over the years, branded a lot of companies, um, and a lot of those were s startups, you know, small businesses or maybe a second or third generation companies. And it all begins with um, you as the leader, self-awareness. So that's our first card self-awareness. So who are you? You know, how do you lead? Uh, how do you uh, make decisions? What are your tendencies? And um, I'm a big fan of Myers-Briggs, so you can go on and take 16personalities.com, the, the test there, and it will tell you which of the 16 personalities you are. You can also read um, this book, Five Voices how to communicate effectively with everyone you lead. It kind of takes those 16 personality types and puts them into five. So for example, I'm an ENTJ. Um, so it's extrovert, intuitive, a thinker, and judger. And then, so that makes me a pioneer in the five voices. So it will tell you how you can relate to the other voices and then you know who's missing on your team. So for example, you know, on the self-awareness, you want to know your strengths, but for growth, we really want to know our weaknesses and kind of fill in um, some of those missing pieces. So for me, you know, nurturing is my number five voice, my nemesis voice. And so I really need someone on my team that's going to be a nurturer, someone who's very tactical. Um, I also really like having a guardian on my side, like my partner is a guardian. And so he will really look at the logical steps that, that need to happen and say, you know, well, is this realistic? And have you thought about this? And we're both big questioners. So that's good to have. So self-awareness, really know, you know, who you are and um, it's tremendous help. Um, second, confidence. Um, trait of a great hunter. You know, you've got to believe that you can achieve it to make it happen. But yet there are so many small business owners or entrepreneurs that um, feel confident in maybe the craft that they're doing or they have a passion for it, but they don't feel uh, confident as a business owner or leader. And so I think, you know, if they understood this and then they would, ha they would have the confidence if they knew, well, this is where I'm coming from and then I'm going to shore up some of my weaknesses. I'm going to fill up my team with the right people. Um, and then, of course, having a plan. And so the third trait, curious. Uh, a great hunter stays curious. You know, you've got to ask a lot of questions. You've got to know what else, you know, what else is out there? What's going on in the community? Um, what is this brand doing that this brand isn't doing? You know, how are they attracting um, the right tribe to them? Um, by staying curious, then it makes you continually investigate and grow and add and, you know, never just be okay with, uh, the way things are because you want to grow. You want to grow your business. You want to uh, be personally fulfilled. And of course, all these things apply as you being the CEO of your own life as well in the personal decisions that you're going to make. Okay, next one. Flexible. Hmm. Yeah, this is one that 
I see a lot of small business owners and entrepreneurs are pretty rigid and they say, well, no, I'm going to do it this way. And maybe there's someone that doesn't like change. And unfortunately, it's just not possible to not change and to not evolve. We all are as human beings. Um, we like different things than we used to like. We, um, you know, if we're not growing, we're really dying. You know, you don't want to stay stagnant. And with technology and how fast things are moving, you do have to be very flexible. So, you know, ask yourself, what could I do differently today? You know, what am I being too rigid on? Especially if something's not working and you're not letting it go. And that's another reason why it's really important to have someone on your team um, that can recognize that. Like you want the guardians to keep things like this. You want the visionary, the pioneers, the connectors to go, oh, I know, you know, this person can do this for you. And um, But if you're not flexible, then it's going to be really hard to get those things done. Okay. Um, so you're going to be flexible, which also means you need to be open-minded. Um, you know, I live in Oklahoma. We're not really known for being super open-minded, unfortunately. Um, but this is huge. You know, you've got to be open to listen to new, new ideas, to listen to criticism, to listen to feedback. Um, be open to it and go, okay, instead of letting our ego get in the way and say, uh, I don't agree with that or uh, taking it personally. That's one of the four agreements. If you see on my YouTube channel, I did a review on that book, The Four Agreements, I recommend. Um, so stay open-minded. You're curious, you're flexible, you're open-minded. You can see how this is happening, right? So you're a hunter, you're out there, you're feeling good about it. You're like, I'm going to do it. I see my targets out there on the horizon. I'm um, loading my quiver with the right things. So the last one, sixth trait, brave, right? It is scary out there to, uh, even if it's just navigating our own life, because you're dealing with all these other voices that are different than your voice, right? And so we have to be brave to go out there to, I mean, bravo to you for wanting to even start your business. If you're someone that's uh, watching this and you aren't sure, but you've got an idea and so good for you that that's this what you're doing. You're gathering the information and you're going to um, choose the right arrow. So that's our bow and arrows. The bow is your life. It's your brand if you are a business professional. It and the arrows are all of our choices. So we're going to get it right in our head first. We're going to understand who we are. We're going to be optimistic. Um, that should have been my seventh trait. Optimistic, positive. You want to be a positive hunter. If you go out there going, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to catch anything today. It's five other businesses are just like mine in town. They're going to crowd me out or those millennials are going to steal all of our jobs. Um, no. If you are going to be a negative Nelly or Ned, it's not going to work, okay? Yes, it's good to be realistic and we want to get real um, you don't want to be pie in the sky all the time. You want to have the vision, but you got to back it up with the tactics. So you want to have the vision, the strategy, the big dream, but then you got to have the doers to get it done. And if you're like me and you think that you can do way more than um, there's time in the day for, um, then really, you know, step back, rethink it, um, look at the horizon. And I love this, you know, confidence. Yes. You're going to be confident and optimistic. You're going to be brave. You're going to be open-minded. I love it. You're going to be flexible. Um, you're going to have some plan B, plan C. Let's try new things. You're going to be curious. What's going on out there? What is this Snapchat everybody's talking about? I resisted looking at that for a long time, and I finally checked it out. I was like, well, it's pretty damn cool. It is because you are going to find that it's changing the way we intake information. So you, as a someone in charge of your brand, because you're the hunter and you're in charge, is that you're going to go, oh, I need to keep it like entertaining, engaging, short, to the point, um, and you're going to be self-aware. So you may be like, you know what, I'm not realistically going to be able to Snapchat every day. 
for my brand. I'm going to hire the millennial or my child or whatever to do it for me with a plan in place, not just um, say whatever you want. You're going to stay on point. But I think um, these six traits are so, so important um, to get us in the right mindset, get us in the best shape that we can be to go out there and do what we need to do to set the goals and again, load the quiver. Speaking of the quiver, you know, that's where all your arrows go. I have some workshops happening in Oklahoma City. I will be doing some online ones, but setting up the online classes, I'm going to be honest, and the podcast is taking up a lot of time just to figure it out, and I want to do it the right way. Um, YouTube's a lot easier because I can just go, oh, there's the camera, and I can talk to you, and I can do some quick little cards. Um, but it does begin with this, and so you as the hunter, I hope that you will seek out the information that you need, the tools that you need, have some workshops happening in Edmond, Oklahoma, um, for those of you that live in and around here. And all those are listed on melinalot.com slash speaking. If you have a group or an association, I would love to come talk to you. There's a form online that you can do that. But I will be back next week. My next video, I'm going to talk about the Artemis Infinity Loop that's so important to decision making. And then um, I will hopefully have an announcement on my One Bow, Many Arrows podcast. My first 12 sessions are going to be reviewing books that I love that are going to help you um, ready, aim, throw. That's Bow and Arrows. I'm Melina Lott. I'll see you guys soon.